Hey there, it's Vicki Howell here to show you how to do the crocheted fishnet edging, one of the three edgings suggested for my Shall We Wrap from Knit Simple Spring 12. And this edging is actually taken from the Vogue Knitting Stitionary 6 book. This is what it looks like. You can see it's really nice and open. It gives a nice drape. We've done, you know, just a couple inches here. I actually, if you're doing it for a shawl or something that you really want a lot of movement in, I, I would love to see even maybe double or triple the, the fishnet edging. It, it absolutely is whatever your personal preference is. So whenever you're adding a crocheted edging, or most times, let's say, to a knitted piece, it really helps to do an establishing row. And I've already done that here. Um, with a row of single crochet after I've, I bound off all my knitted stitches. So I was working through those. If you need a little refresher course on how to do single crochet, you can go to vickihowell.com and the how-to section has step-by-step -step pictures. From here though, we're gonna just start as if we were set up. And because it's a miracle that my children are being quiet and letting me do this, um, I'm gonna just pretend that I've done it all the way across. So I'm starting. Let's pretend that this is, this is the very edge of my piece. You're at the end, and so you're going to chain five. And again, if you need a refresher on how to chain, you can also go onto my website. Four, five, and then you're going to skip three. So one, two, three, and then single crochet in the next one. And you can see that creates your first loop. So again, one, two, three, four, five, skip three, one, two, three, single crochet. And you're going to continue in this manner, um, pattern as called for in the steps. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five. And then we skip three. One, two, three, and go in there. So again, in the interest of time, let's pretend that I've gotten to the very end of my piece. We'll just pretend that's gone. And we flip it over. And now we've got all these cool loop-de-loops. So for the next row, and from, for all subsequent rows, if you decided to do this for 20 rows or just one more row, this is what you'll do every time. So you're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Then you single crochet in this five chain space, which means right through the loop. And so that makes this so easy. And you'll start to get in a groove that you can just do it by feel. And so it'll go really fast and you can do it while you're watching TV. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to go ahead and skip that single crochet from the row before and go straight into the next five chain space, the loop, and single crochet there. And what you can see forming is sort of like, it almost looks like scales, you know, like a little mermaid tail. You can see how the scallops are forming. And that's all there is to it. It's so fast, it's really simple, and it's got a great drape. I highly recommend choosing this one, especially if you are working on the shawl we wrap. All right, that's all there is to it.